In this video, I'm going to show you how you can view your students' work in one place. So let's get started. So here is a Google Classroom. First thing you're going to do is you're going to jump right to the People page of your Google Classroom. So in this example, you can see that some parents have been invited to get the email summaries, the guardian summaries, and you can tell that they have they just haven't checked their email, I guess, to see it. But then there are some down here. So down here, for this particular student, you can see that, that um, the students have accepted and they are getting the email summaries from Google Classroom. So I'm gonna use this student as an example. You simply click on the student's name and it brings you to this window. And you can see here on the left-hand side, this is the default page with all of the assignments. You can also click on Turned In. Here's a list of all of the assignments that this student has turned in. Here's a list of all of the assignments that have be, been returned to this student. And then you can click on this last one, Missing, and this will show the assignments that are missing for a particular student. So let's go to the All page. This just gives you a really nice snapshot of a student. This could be really helpful when you have parent-teacher conferences. Another feature that I wanted to point out is in the upper right hand corner, you can see there's a little envelope and it says email student or guardian. That's why I picked this example because this student's parents are getting the guardian summaries from Google Classroom. So that's why I picked this as an example. So I'm gonna click on this little envelope and it brings up this window. So this will send an email to the parents and the students showing their summary of their work. Now there is a drop down menu, so you've got student, and if I click on the little shark tooth, I have other options on who to send this email to. I could send it to the students, I could send it just to the guardians, or I could send it both to the students and the guardians. And you could type a message here. And then right here, this you probably want to click this box, which is include student summary. And then you would just click send. So I'm not going to click send because this is not my classroom. But I am going to go into my example classroom and send an email summary to the fake student who we all know, Gabby, very well. And so I will be right back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here I am in my example class with Gabby, and I'm gonna click on Gabby. I'm gonna do missing work for Gabby and see what shows up. I'm gonna click the envelope because I do want to send the summary so that you can see what that summary looks like. And I'm gonna send this progress report to both the students and the guardian. I do want to include a summary of the student work, and then I'm gonna click send. So here is the email. It says Gabriella's Progress, an example class for training, so it has the name of the class. And I'm gonna click on that so you can see what it looks like. It says, this is the message that I typed in. Here's the summary of Gabby's work. I look forward to seeing you at conferences. I will be emailing the Sign Up Genius link later this week. And then it's got the, her little avatar, and then you can go through, and this shows all of the assignments. So that is how you can view all of your student work in one place. I don't know if this is a new feature. It's new to me, and I heard about it on a podcast. I want to make sure that everyone knows about it. Here you go. Have a great day, and let me know if you need anything.